Hello friends, what is going on? I am Numnexus bringing you guys here some pretty interesting information. We have a now confirmed release date for My Hero Academia Season 4. Um, and well, I'll just tell you right here in the beginning of the video, it's coming out around October of 2019. Now we're going to talk about a little bit of the differences between the now confirmed release date and the speculated slash used to be confirmed release date. Um, before you ask you guys watch the video, hit that like button down below. Lots of content coming to the channel this week. Subscribe to not miss an upload. Uh, so interesting thing before I actually sit down and read this article. My Hero Academia Season 4 was actually slated. And I say slated, not a full confirmation, but it was slated. And I tried to find the article. I probably have to look a lot deeper, but it was slated that it was going to come out in 2019 of spring. Same time around with Attack on Titan Season 4 as well as One Punch Man Season 2. So there's expected to be a lot of major animes dropping around that time, but it seems as though that's changed now, and just, you know, roughly, My Hero usually comes around springtime. So this being odd, really odd that it's coming out in the fall, and what sucks about this too, in personally, is just what I think. I mean, I think a lot of manga readers would agree that this is probably going to be the best season that we get of My Hero animated. I'd love to see it all animated. Studio Bones has it. They'll probably do an amazing job at it. Like they already have. But it's coming around October 2019. And here's the visual. Key visual down below. Um, you can see. And it shows Mirio and Deku. Now, a lot of exciting things about this is uh, Mirio himself. We got to see a little bit of his power. What he's capable of doing. He just ran house on everybody at the end of Season 3. As well as Deku, who... Kind of peaks, honestly, within this arc. He peaks it within this arc, I would like to say. I think people would like to agree with that as well, but he peaked within this arc. Um, so the timing of the upcoming new season of My Hero's adjustment for fans who saw the first three released during the spring season, specifically in April. I don't remember this at all. Oh, they're saying the first three seasons rather than the first three episodes. Season one, which ran for 13 episodes in April 2016, Season 2, which ran April 2017, and then Season 3, which we got this year, was April 7th, 2018. So that's why it's so weird, and that's why Season 4 is slated again for April 2019. Same with Attack on Titan and One Punch Man, but it says, Based on manga series, My Hero Academia Season 4 will delve deeper into their characters and their powers. Season 3 finale featured the top dog of the big three. Okay, so we get what they're trying to say. So essentially... Uh, season 3, from how it ended, they want us to remember that and kind of roll into Season 4 almost a year later. Because we got this confirmation, either, it was either yesterday or the day before, so like a couple days ago. And we're in December. October was two months ago. So this is roughly about 10 months away from now. Almost a year. And we, we can roughly estimate it's going to be about a year and... While I will understand and wait for the patience because this arc definitely deserves the wait with the Goat Chisaki, um, uh, Deku's Peak, Kirishima, Mirio, it really deserves a lot of the things that it's, you know, worth the wait for. It just sucks because, you know, we all were anticipating that it was going to be another spring release like all the other three seasons. It just was not. So, I am if you ask me, I think it's worth the wait. But I am a little bit upset that it is going to be this long of a wait. Um, but I guess, I don't know, maybe, and this is just my little theory, maybe they saw that a lot of major titled animes are dropping around spring. That, you know, they kind of want to, you know, be a little selfish and kind of, you know, hoard all the glory on their own. Because to be honest, when My Hero is airing, it usually crashes the website. Similar to when Dragon Ball Super is airing, it crashes the site. Um, I think we can all remember that when Season 2 first dropped, it crashed the site. Episode 1, Season 1, was it crashed it so hard that a lot of us either had to A, go on a bootleg website, or B, use our free trial on the Funimation website, and then watch Episode 1 there, because that's what I did. Season 3 didn't really crash the site, because to be fair, Season 3 was probably the weakest of my hero. It started off really strong. Uh, personally, if you ask me, the all my vers uh, fucking all-for-one fight... It was a fight. 
Um, and then everything from there, I get it, character progression, um, but it's a little bit of an issue with the manga, how long can they do character progression, you know? That's a little worrisome for me when it comes to my hero, so... But we do know that Season 4 is going to be legendary, and if you did not read the manga, I advise you do. And if you want to be patient, by all means, avoid the spoilers, avoid it all, and just wait for October. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to never miss any news coverage of my hero. Uh, I'm going to try and bring you guys the most absolute possible fastest way of news for my hero as this video is three days late. <laughs> but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. Thank you though again for watching. It means the world to me. I'm back. And I'll talk to you guys soon.